Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast day of St. Matthias, one of the faithful apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray that like St. Matthias, we may become a good friend and a close disciple of our Lord. Today also we begin our novena to the Holy Spirit as we prepare our hearts for the celebration of Pentecost to culminate Easter season. Like St. Matthias, let us open our hearts to receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. To prepare ourselves for this sacrament, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, You came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. 
Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph, called Barsabas, who was also known as Justus, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, you know the hearts of all. Show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he leaps up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 
I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the feast of St. Matthias, the one who replaced Judas Cariot in the list of the twelve apostles. And we heard the story of his choosing in our first reading today which we find in the first chapter of the Acts of the Apostles when he was chosen to replace Judas in the line of the apostolic office. And what was the criteria? What was the standard? Mayroon po silang uh, parang standard upang mapili sino ba ang dapat pumalit kay Judas Iscariote na nagtaksil sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo upang makumpleto muli ang labing dalawang apostol. Ano ba ang kanilang pinagpilian? According to Peter, to Saint Peter, in our first reading today, he said that the one who should replace Judas in the number of the twelve apostles is that it is necessary that one of the men, that this comes from one of the men who accompanied us the whole time. The Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us. That is the criteria of St. Peter, that the one to be chosen to replace Judas in the number of the apostles is that he should have accompanied us 
from the beginning, the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan, the beginning of His ministry, until His ascension into heaven. The one who accompanied Jesus in every step of the way, from the beginning of His ministry until the end when He ascended into heaven. That is a disciple. That is an apostle. A disciple worthy to be called an apostle is the one who stays with Jesus from beginning until the end. Yan ang matatawag na tunay na alagad, disipulo, tagasunod ni Jesus. Ang taong dapat tawagin na apostol ay kagaya ng sinabi sa unang pagbasa natin, isang tao na sa simula hanggang sa huli, hindi iniwan si Jesus. Sinamahan si Jesus. Sumunod kay Jesus sa lahat ng kanyang pinuntahan, sa lahat ng kanyang gawain, at kahit sa pagdurusa at pagtutuligsa kay Jesus, hindi siya iniwan. Yan ang alagad. Yan ng isang disipulo, isang tao na karapat dapat tawaging apostol ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Are you a disciple? Like St. Matthias, are we a disciple of Jesus, a true follower, one who stays with Jesus from beginning until the end, one who stays with Jesus not only in good times but also in bad, not only in health but also in sickness, not only in being rich, but also in being poor. Are we one with Jesus in every step of the way? Are you a disciple? Or do we just follow Jesus when it is convenient? Do we just follow Jesus on our convenient time only? Do we just choose when I will follow Jesus and when I will deny Jesus? Then, you are not a disciple. You are just a bystander. Para ka lang nakatambay sa gilid. Pinapanood mo lang si Jesus. At lalapit lang ako, susunod lang ako sa Kanya kapag gusto ko, kapag kombinyente sa akin, Kapag hindi ako mahihirapan, yun lang. Pero kapag dumating na ang punto na nakihirapan na si Jesus, hindi na ako alagad. Manunood na lang ako. You are not a disciple. You are just a bystander. And worse, you will become like Judas, the one replaced by Matthias. He was not just a bystander, he was even a traitor. Are you a disciple or are you just a bystander? Matthias was chosen because he was a true disciple, a man who followed and stayed with Jesus until the end with the whole of his life. And at the end of the life of Matthias, he gave up his life as a martyr for Jesus. That is why in our gospel passage today, Jesus, in speaking to his disciples, he was telling them, I do not call you slaves. What did he call his disciples? His friends. Because he said, I have told you everything I heard from my father. How beautiful is that? 
Jesus, knowing everything that is to revealed from the Father, He revealed to His disciples. Hindi siya nagsinungaling sa kanyang mga alagad. Hindi siya nagtago. Hindi nagbago ang kanyang isip. Hindi niya sinabi, ah, sabi ko noon, magdudusa ako. Ngayon, hindi pala. Joke lang pala yung sinabi ko. No? Hindi siya ganun. No? Hindi nagbago ang kanyang isip. Hindi siya nagbibiru lang. Na-joke lang lahat. He was a friend to His disciples. And a friend is true to His friend. He was loyal to the friends. And as He said, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. A friend truly loves his friends. And he said, A true friend lays down his life for his friends. That is our Lord Jesus. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, as we continue to celebrate the feast day of St. Matthias, chosen to replace Judas in the Twelve Apostles, let us ask ourselves, like St. Matthias, am I a true disciple who stays with Jesus whatever happens? Or am I just a bystander looking at Jesus from afar, following only when it is convenient and advantageous to me, but leaving Jesus behind when there is suffering or trials? Am I a disciple or am I just a bystander? Am I a true disciple and am I a true friend of Jesus. Let us pray to the Holy Spirit as we begin our novena to the Holy Spirit today. The Holy Spirit who filled the hearts of the apostles, filled them with courage, filled them with the truth, and filled them with faithfulness in being a disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God chose Matthias to be an apostle, a witness to the resurrection. Let us pray that the Father's will may be done on earth in all places and undertakings. For every petition, let us say, Sustain us, O Lord. Sustain us, O Lord. That the spirit of wisdom may guide the Pope and the bishops especially in the exercise of their ministry as shepherds of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Sustain, Sustain us, O Lord, Lord, that those in authority may be zealous in their commitment to partake in saving souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Sustain, Sustain us, O Lord, Lord, that there may be an increase in priestly and religious vocations in our community and in the family. Let us pray to the Lord. Sustain us, O Lord, that consecrated men and women may have the true spirit of Jesus who came to serve and not to be served. Let us pray to the Lord. Sustain us, O Lord, that the faithful departed may see the salvation of God in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Sustain us, O Lord. Almighty God, your Son chose us and bore fruit in our lives. Grant these prayers we make through the intercession of St. Matthias. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
cetate ce pe un svin, te vi oferi nostru tău vizită pe izbarnic, când o pe sfinit pe tu spirit, spiritul mei, tate, se te manim pentru un și pe amură de Domnul. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them, Strengthen us by the power of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. 
Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts. And through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now pray the first day of our novena to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways. Whenever Scripture speaks of the fear of the Lord, we notice that it never mentioned it on its own, as if fear could by itself bring our faith to perfection. But of the true fear of the Lord, we read, Come, listen to me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. The fear of God, then, is something to be learned, because it is taught. Its origins are found by way of teaching and not in fright. We find it in obeying the commandments, in doing the good deeds of a blameless life, in coming to know the truth and not in moments of human terror. All our fear of God is inspired and perfected by love. By the gift of the Holy Spirit, May we be overwhelmed by the greatness and goodness of God and avoid all sin and attachment to created things so that each of us may be a living sign of the gospel for all people to see. Let us all together pray. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, from, from the, the beginning, beginning of time, time you have prepared the way of salvation for the human race wounded by sin and death. Through your inspired word, you have taught that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. By the gift of the Holy Spirit, may we walk always along the path you have revealed, following your counsels, conforming ourselves to your commands, and trusting your promises as heralds of a new Pentecost. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Mary, Temple of the Holy Spirit. Pray for us. We thank you for joining us in this celebration of the Eucharist and for praying with us the first day of the Novena to the Holy Spirit. This Novena is the first novena in history when the apostles stayed in the upper room for nine days waiting for the gift of the Holy Spirit. And after their novena, the Father fulfilled His promise. He sent them the gifts of the Holy Spirit after nine days of praying together. May we invite you to join us in this novena as we start today so that after these nine days, we may also receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit promised by our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Reina ng langit, masaya, Alleluia, ang akong binala sa tuwa, Alleluia, ay nabuhay na mamuli Alleluia Ipanalangin mo kami sama Alleluia